Hi, and welcome to another Vivaldi Systems dry cleaning software tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a ticket. We're going to set it up into two parts. The first part is how to write the ticket or how to add the items on the ticket. And then later, I'm going to, I'm going to teach you how to edit the tickets that you've already added onto, onto it. So let's load up Vivaldi um, so that we have the main menu up and running. So let's say a customer walks in and you need a ticket to be written. You would simply click on Write Ticket or press F2 on the keyboard. This is a customer search window. You could begin typing the customer search. Uh, you could begin typing the customer in. So let's type in baskets. Almost immediately, you could already tell that George Vasquez was already selected, and I didn't even have to fill it, complete it in. It also works with phone numbers, so let's eliminate this and type in 555-444-3333. And look at that, it's George Vasquez again. Um, you can select the customer by double clicking on it, clicking the select and close down here at the bottom, or hit and enter as such. Um, so let's double click on it. So this is the ticket information. When you want to type in a, an item, you would first need to um, type in the quantity with, all, with the numbers here, and then choosing the item. So let's say a customer wants two shirts to be dry cleaned. You would click on two, and then shirts. You, it also works with multi-digits. So let's say a customer brings in 12 vests. You would click on the multi-digits, and then hit 12, and then press OK, and then Vests. The total is always shown down here at the bottom right, um, so it's $54.20 because 45 and $9.20 is 54.20. So let me get a little bit into classes. The classes are located right here down at the bottom with dry cleaning, laundry, alteration, press only, and so on. So let's say a customer walks in and he wants uh, a shirt to be laundered. You would simply click on laundry and click one and then shirt. Oh, just a reminder, when a customer brings just one item, you don't need to click on one every time right here at the button. You would simply just click on the item itself and it'll, the program will automatically assume that it, it's just one item. So we'll get to that later. So there's just one and then shirt so this is a start window preference this is when the customer when the program knows how the customer prefers its its starch and for this customer george vasquez it already assumes that it's um light starch because he he's been here before and he prefers light starch so let's click light starch because he likes it there will be a small description well, first, they will add it to the ticket, and there will be a small description right below the item we just chose. So let's go to alteration. Alteration is one of my favorites. You would, let's click on, um, let's say for instance, there, we want two, a two-piece suit to be uh, dry cleaned. You would click on dry cleaning down here at the bottom, and then two. See how it automatically assumes that it's just one, one without having to click on one button. And then we would, we would click on alteration. And we would, let's say we would like to hem the pants. So let's click on hem the pants. And the, and this pop-up comes in and it says, would you like to attach the alteration to the item above? And since we, we know that we wanted to, we would simply click on yes. And voila, it'll assume that this, the hem the pants is for the item above. So how about um, upcharges? Let me go a little bit into forced upcharges. So let's say, again, another customer comes in and he wants um, a dress to be dry cleaned. You would click on dry cleaning, and then click on dress. And here's a forced upcharge. You must select a forced upcharge before you can continue. So Let's say it's a it's a two piece. No, it's a yeah, it's a two piece dress. So we would click that, and it it automatically says that it's a two piece dress because it's a four sub charge. 
I'll teach you later how to add or remove um, upcharges, but that'll come in a later video. How about when a customer comes in and he wants to give you an item, but you don't have it on your list? This is one of my favorite parts. Simply click on open item and describe and price window will pop up. So let's say for instance, it's a ugly shirt. So let's click and type in ugly shirt and then have the price be $3 and then click close. And then it'll automatically add it to the, to the ticket. Just as a reminder, you know which class each item belongs to by the initial given right next to it. So D for dry cleaning, L for laundry, and then A for alteration. So let's move on to the second part of this video, how to edit the items. There are many things you could edit to your items. So one for instance is to change the quantity. So let's change um, two shirts into three shirts. So we would click on to select the item first and then just go up here and click three. Oh, look at that. It just changed it into three and it automatically adds the total up. You could also change the price of an item. So let's change the price for um, uh, the vest. You would click on you would click on the vest or on the item and hit change price. And you would type in per item price. So let's say instead of 375, let's lower it lower it just a little into 350. And click OK. Again, it changed it and adds it up. You could also do an optional upcharge by hitting the optional upcharge button or double clicking on an item. So let's change, um, let's say, the ugly shirt. You would simply double click on it or hit the upcharge. So let's double click on it. And here's the optional upcharge. You may add colors or have an upcharge. So let's click close. We'll get to that on a later video. Oh, you could also void a ticket by hitting on this red void ticket button. Uh, but we won't do that now. But just for just for an example, you would click on it and then hit one on the first field and then one, two, three, four on the second field. You could also remove an item by hitting the remove item or the delete key. So let's click so let's delete the um, the 12 vests. You could you would select the vest and then remove the item. You could also describe in price. That's that's if you want to change the, the the description and the price of an item by hitting the describe in price button right right above the void ticket. So let's change the ugly shirt and click on it and then let's change it into ugly pants and then make that five dollars and click close there you go change it ugly pants and again it's on dry cleaning and it's five dollars and it changes the price at any time if you want to change the customer you would click on the dot 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 button button and you would select the customer by by a pop-up window and hit and change the customer through the list that it gives you. So once you're done with the ticket itself, you would click on save and print down at the bottom. So let's click that now. And then you would choose a date that the customer wants to pick up the item. So it's usually like three days or something. So let's click on the 10th of January of 2012. Click OK. And this is where the um, print window, which gives you the total right here in the green. This is the window where pretty much everything ex exists. This is the, the, the very final window. So it shows the um, taxes and environmental fees, if you have any, and then coupons or discounts, again, if you have any. If the customer does have a coupon, you would simply click on coupon or discounts button and then type in the amount. You could also do a prepayment if you if you switch that on. Once you're done revising it, there are five buttons, five different buttons that you can may choose one. There's a print and pickup, 
that's if the customer wants to just print it and then pick up only the items that they they that they want to pick up the print and close this button only prints the tags the print and write another ticket for the same customer and then save the ticket don't print close and return to the main menu which is what we're going to do right now and that is how you write a ticket